Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a hamster haul. This is basically like an updated uh, things that you get at Dollar Tree for a hamster haul. I did do this video previously, but in my last video, someone suggested if I could do it again. So yeah, I decided to do it again. Because the last time I did this, I only got like three things, which wasn't really a haul. It's more like these are the three things that I got from Dollar Tree for my hamster. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys the big bag. <laughs> Of goodies that I'm going to be using all for my hamsters, peanut and beanie. So the first thing I have here is this like wax melter because you could put like a little candle in here and then put some like wax or that has a scent and then it will uh, make your room smell good. This is actually the same thing as the yellow uh, flower thing that peanut has and um, beanie has one but it's blue. I didn't know that they were used for that not specifically candle holders because i thought they were candle holders so i just called them that but then i uh learned that you could put like a little fire here and then like put wax that has a scent on it so it can make your room smell good so that's what this is i don't know the exact name of it but that's what it's used for but you can use it for your hamster as a hide and um the two hamsters that i have they each have one and they both love it so yeah you can get this at dollar tree for just a dollar and then the next thing I have, I have to bring this bag, like, right there. The next thing I have is this, like, lunchbox, pencil box looking type of thing. It's purple. You could use it for storage. Like, if you travel with your hamster, then you could use this, like, little lunchbox to have, like, food in the front with you or things that you need for your hamster easy to access as long as they fit in this because this is not that big. It can't fit, like, a whole wheel in here. So when I open it, I have... A bunch of treats that I got for my hamsters so first we have this this is only safe if you take off the um, salt which when I give my hamster these um, what are they there's sunflower seeds I always wash the um, salt off so yeah this is only safe if you wash off the salt so make sure to never forget to do that because when I go to like PetSmart or Walmart, I can never seem to find just only a bag of sunflower seeds. So yeah, I couldn't find any like unsalted seeds. So that's the reason why I got these. If I did, if there was unsalted seeds, I would probably get the unsalted seeds. So yeah, those are sunflower seeds. Then I have this bag of pumpkin seeds. Always wash off the salt because usually this brand doesn't have like unsalted seeds but if there is i couldn't find any when i was there but these are pumpkin seeds so just wash off the salt and here i have this little bag of carrot chips it's safe um it's safe for your hamster because it's literally just carrot chips i also made sure that there was nothing dangerous in like the nutrition or yeah the nutrition facts in the back and i also checked the front so it's it's good also this these i think they're kind of sweet so just don't give them to your hamster all the time because you don't want them to be eating a lot of sugar or stuff like that i'm literally just putting everything on the ground and then i have these two little toothbrushes you can use the toothbrushes to breast your hamster when you have him or her with you in your lap um, or in your hand, or while he or she is walking around. Um, yeah, usually you don't really have to brush or groom your hamsters because they do it by themselves, but a lot of people like to groom their long-haired Syrians. But I only have two short-haired Syrians, but I do like brushing them sometimes, and I don't really have any toothbrushes that I could use, so I bought these. They're just the, the baby ones. I already took one out for my dog because... We have to brush his teeth. And then here I have this big bag of, of course, salted roasted peanuts. Make sure to wash off the salt. Or you could just, like, take out the peanut itself and then give it to your hamster. But don't give them a lot of peanuts because these aren't a very healthy treat. But give it to your hamster, like, once in a while, but not all the time. So with salted peanuts, since the peanut is in the inside, the inside is usually not salted. It's usually just the outside. This, 
same goes for the pumpkin seed and the sunflower seed you could just take out the seed itself and give it to your hamster or you could let your hamster do it by open the seed by itself but if you don't want to do that just take out the seed which guarantees that your hamster won't be eating any like extra salt because these contain a lot of salt sometimes but if you do want to give it to them with the seed just make sure to wash off or like take off all the salt or as much as you can as long as it isn't salty at all and yeah here's this and then here we have this big container that you could use as a sand bath or to put eco earth or any other different type of bedding besides your regular paper based bedding or your regular aspen that you put in your hamster's cage but i got this big um container to put it in beanie's cage because he doesn't have a really big sand bath so i just wanted to upgrade his sand bath it's really big i think it's actually bigger than peanuts i should have gotten her i should have gotten her one too hopefully the next time i go back to dollar tree i can get one and i believe that oh no the second to last thing i have is this you could get these little like sifters you use this for cleaning your sand bath if you have one some people don't but if you do you use this to clean your sand bath clean your sand bath like once a day or every other day depending on how much your hamster uses it because a lot of hamsters tend to use it as like their potty area or where they do poop and pee so yeah you can use this to reuse some sand but obviously if it's like really dirty because beanie he's a really like when it comes to a sand bath he pees in there like a lot like the next morning the sand is so soiled that i have to take it out so yeah use this so you can reuse some of your sand and then the last thing i have is this pretty decent sized mug that i can use as a hide or a place to put some like eco earth like a little bit and i could put it let me see if you guys can see this i could put it into the cage like this and add some eco earth or something like that and then i could put it on the side like that so then you wouldn't have to see this so that's pretty much it for today's video also if you guys want to comment down below any um other youtube video suggestions for me i would gladly take a look at them to see if i could do those videos and also i have a question for all the hamster owners out there that have owned hamsters for a long time is there like how do you encourage your hamster to dig burrows because pina i gave her all this bedding but for some reason she just decides to sleep right here like she doesn't want to make a tunnel over here she was sleeping in a hide that i put back here for like maybe like three days and then she decided to just not dig anymore and just sleep right there she actually chew a whole side a little like corner out of her um log i forgot i forgot the name of the log oh my goodness my mind just went blank but yeah and um she comes out through here in order to get to her wheel and everything that's outside but she doesn't want she doesn't seem to have any interest in creating like more tunnels or burrows or places that she could go besides just right there so if you guys have any suggestions on how i could encourage her to do that um comment down below and yeah um beanie he's starting to create his burrows and that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching hope you guys like subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified every time i post new videos thank you guys for watching bye